Every day, Americans go through more than a million pounds of aluminum. But for much of this mega material, it won't be its first time around. It's so recyclable. About two thirds of the aluminum that's ever been made is still in existence. While it may take a lot of power to make aluminum, once aluminum oxide is stripped of its oxygen atoms, metallic aluminum is incredibly stable. That means it could be melted down and reused again and again, forever. Aluminum is like a penis. Nothing goes to waste. Everything's recycled. Recycled cans wind up in a place like this, Anheuser-Busch Recycling Corp in Hayward, California. About 6,000 pounds in there. We're gonna open these doors. Cans are just gonna fall out. After we dump all this, I'll get my guy, Robin. We'll just push these cans up, push them on the conveyor. We got uh, Jose up there sorting material. Every loose scrap of paper, piece of steel, or plastic, anything that's not aluminum needs to be removed. We try to do the best inspection we can, so we ship these to the mills and get the best loads out that we can. After inspection, the loose cans fall into the crusher, where a massive hydraulic press crunches them into bales that are perfectly square. Then they're shipped off to the smelter. They're gonna be melted down and made into new aluminum can sheet. And here's a staggering fact to ponder with friends over a beer. In less than three months, an aluminum can circulates once through its life cycle. That can can be all the way through that closed loop system and back in your refrigerator, 60 to 90 days later, filled with a new beverage. All while using much less energy. In Australia, smelters alone consume 10% of the nation's total power. So by recycling, you cut the demand for electricity, and that reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Recycling an aluminum can saves about 95% of the energy required to make a can out of virgin materials.